Hey, how is it going? Today I will show you how to install OTT Player to your Amazon Fire TV Stick or Android TV. What's important to mention is OTT Player is available on the Google Play Store. It has more than 1 million downloads, which means the application is legitimate and safe to use, which is of course very important to us. Now, after pointing out those details, let's proceed with the setup. First of all, you have to get an app called Unloader and there is a really high chance that you already have it on your device. So if that's the case, then just skip to the next part of the video. But if you don't have the loader yet, or you're not sure how to properly use it and set it up, then watch this part of the video as well. So you can get the loader for free. From the official Amazon App Store, just go to search and start typing the loader here. As you can see, it already popped out here for us at the bottom. Click on it, and here's the application which we need to download. However, that's not it. We also have to set it up and do that properly. To do so, we'll go to settings, click on that gear icon in the right part of the screen, then scroll down to My Fire TV, open it, and here we'll have to enable developer options for your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options might be hidden by default. So, if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick. Now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast. So, let's do it. As you can see, now the button for me, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have to become a developer now. And if you just go back a bit, you'll finally see developer options, which are going to appear right here. Let's open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging here, then you should go to install unknown apps and turn that option on for the loader. So what it does is going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily from the official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. Now, when you go to the list of applications on your device, you'll see the downloader, which is going to appear right here. However, before proceeding further, there's one more thing which I really recommend. It's of course connecting to a VPN. And in my opinion, the best option for that is NordVPN. They have a great app for Fire Sticks or any other device you may use, be it a laptop, mobile phone, your PC or anything else. They have an app for that. They have thousands of different servers and they're not expensive. And most importantly, if you use my link in the description below this video or in a pinned comment, you'll get 4 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is a great deal. I believe you always should use a VPN, especially if you're downloading something from the internet, especially via adult applications or any live TV players, because you never really know who the real developers of those apps are, what they're doing with your data, and of course you even shouldn't trust your ISP provider because they might be tracking you as well and spying on you. So get NordVPN, use my link in the description of this video, get 4 months totally for free, and let's proceed with the video. And now when we got everything connected and set up properly, let's open the loader. On the left side menu, make sure to click on Home. And now in that search bar, we're going to type Aptoy TV. So what is Aptoy TV? Aptoy TV is an alternative app store for your Fire Stick or Google TV. In some cases, it's way better than the original Amazon App Store because it has some apps which are not available in the original App Store. So take a look at the screen. That's exactly how you have to type the search request. It's Aptoid TV. Then you got to press on Go. And after the search results open, here's the link which we have to click on, tv.aptoid.com. Click on it. And now the official website of Aptoid TV has opened. We'll scroll down a bit and click on the Load Up Toy TV button. Now the download is going to start. Usually it doesn't take long. Of course, it all depends on your internet connection speed. Now just click on Install in the right bottom corner, and then do not press on Open yet. Instead, press on Done, and we'll do this this way so we could delete the installation file, because we don't need it anymore, but it would clog the memory of your Fire Stick, which you don't have too much of anyway. So always delete installation files. Click on Delete. And now we're good to go, almost. We'll have to go to settings once again. Go to My Fire TV, developer options, install unknown apps, and turn that option on for VAPTOY TV as well. 
because we're going to use it to download the OTT player as it is available on that app store. After that, just go to the list of applications on your device. Here it is. Let's open app Aptoid TV. Click on OK here. And we'll have to allow Aptoid TV to access files on our device because it is needed to install applications via Aptoid. Click on Allow. And now we'll have to go to the search bar, which is at the top on the left side menu. Click on the magnifying glass. Here's the search bar for us. Here we just need to type OTT player. Here's the search request. Type it in exactly as you see on the screen and press on next. And here's the OTT player. Let's click on it and then press on install. Now it started downloading. Once again, click on install in the right bottom corner. And now the installation is finished for us. So once again, let's go to the list of applications on your device. As always, make sure to remember to use a VPN when using live TV players or any other applications to stay safe online and then open the application. Click on start. And from here you have different options. You can sign in if you already have an account, sign up if you don't, you can go to settings or import your playlist. Click on add. And then there's a couple of options. You can use a direct link. There you would enter your M3U playlist URL if you have that from your provider. Alternatively, you can also use a file, here it is. That option would allow you to upload your playlist as a file, as, as some services do provide that option. And lastly, you can use cloud services, such as Google Drive, Dropbox, or some other services to upload your playlist via cloud services. After you upload your playlists, they are going to appear right here in the app. You could also go to settings and check out some of the modes, maybe tweak some of the settings to your liking. And pretty much that's it. That's how you can download OT player to your Fire Stick or Android TV. And also now on the screen, you might see a couple of videos which may fit your needs, or you can visit my channel to see more of the content right here. And as always, see you next time.